What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going back to Sol 2641, the MSL 2641 Gigapan. Now, I've done this before, and a lot of my subs will recognize it. However, I've actually drawn more detail out of this. So what's here is absolutely phenomenal. Now, the people who are newcomers to the channel, I'm going to do a quick Find the Lines 101. Now, let's get into that and check this out. Here it is right here. You can see at the top is Images MSL 2641 MR. And this was put on by my good friend Neville Thompson. And you can see it was January 16th, 2020. And you can see it's at, it's at 300 DPI. Now, this was recently put on uh, Facebook. In fact, my good friend uh, Joe White from uh, Art Alien TV had done a an object on here. Um, and you can check his stuff out. Just recently, he just did something on this. So it reminded me to go back to because this one here is absolutely awesome. And there may actually be another part, maybe two more parts. Now, we may actually do this Gigapan on a live feed and check out some of the stuff because some of the stuff in here is absolutely crazy, right? Now, we can go through this. I've showed you this before. This is just quick, quick for anybody who hasn't seen this. You've got things like this here where they look symmetrically right here. Got this piece. And then the left-hand side of it is also doing that right there and stopping. We got this object right here. In the middle of the screen you can see look at look at on the top of this it has one two three four squares straight across the top of it looks to have some kind of white either shield or something right there i'm not sure what to make of that but look at the way this supposed rock goes and lands. i don't believe any of these are rocks guys and i'll get into the gigapan on the live feed and we can get into this a whole lot more and talk about this right it looks like it has some kind of black or gray square object underneath this white not sure and it looks like some other little parts there really can't make it out and that's fine but check that out right all right so as we're going along i've done this area here this one here is awesome because when you get into this you got to look for the lines lines tell all now here's a good example you're looking over here and you're saying oh wow well, yeah i can see the detail it looks pretty good again i don't believe any of these are rocks but that's beside the point what we're looking at is in the back here i see a lot of like almost like a whited out area where they're trying to hide the lines. Now, right off the bat on the left-hand side, I've done it right here. Let's see if we can't get this right here. Probably from right about here on the right to right around here. And what I did is did a screenshot of this area and then enhanced it. Okay. We can see here on the left, you can see the lines pretty well, right? See that? Lines right there. Right here. Almost like foundations, if you will. But what you don't see is the other lines. Now, let me show you real quick. Look at the lines right here. Going straight across the screen. There's some kind of thing here. I'm not sure what to make of that. So I made a circle. So you'll see what I mean in Photoshop. Another line going up like this here. And the bottom part of it right there. Of course, there's a bunch of junk laying here. But you'll see that in a little bit. you got this right here. Kind of distorted here at the, at the bottom. But this has a wall. Guys, this is a wall right here. This object over here almost looks like a clamshell, right? Has the cover to it and has this opening. Like this thing opened up and whatever else is in here is whatever, right? Um, you've got walls here. You can see it from top. It's rounded in the front here and it has a wall to it. Okay. Again, look at these right here. This circle right there. The line's going straight across. Let me just back up just one notch. Again, pause this any way you want. Look at it with your magnifier. Again, I'm going to pull back and show you the lines right there going across. One going off this way. You can see it. One going off this way. So this is a corner or something or other. And then look at the other lines in the background. Okay? And what I'm going to do, guys, once we get into Photoshop, I'm going to show you these lines, just quick outlines and just straight lines of these areas. And they're only like a very few lines compared to what's really in here, right? Now, this white piece standing up right here, I'm not sure what to make of that. It looks like it has legs to it. See this? Okay. And again, these obvious lines, I can see without even doing anything to this. And I love this, this sky. Look at this. You know as well as I do, this is probably like AI doing this stuff. And it's blocking out anything in the background that they don't want you to see, right? And you can see it's a lot more prominent when we enhance this. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
you'll also see what looks like right here. You'll see these other little squares. I'm going to back out so you guys can, again, if you want, you can pause it. Okay. Now, some things aren't what they appear to be. For example, this piece right here looks like some kind of weird little sand dune or butte or whatever. No, I believe this is a giant structure. Let me show you why I say that. First of all, we get the left edge right here. Okay. But follow it, guys. Goes up here, comes back down a little bit, and then you can see the line right here stops. Okay. There's an end to it. That means this is not a butte or anything. This is an opening. Okay, and you're going to see, look at like little pieces here that almost look structural, like framework or something to that effect. All right, let's back out of this and get into this. All right, so I rotated it three degrees clockwise. So this way we're not looking at a cut guide because you can see it here. See how it's like it's kind of like on a, you know, it's more of a counterclockwise. We don't want that right there. So what I do is just put it so it's straight. Now. Again, here's the lines we're talking about. Right here. I'm going to go ahead and outline a couple of them. Right there. Now, clearly you can see these right here. I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth. You guys have a look at the lines. We got this dome feature right here on the right-hand side. It looks like it has these three separations. Well, it's got two separations. It looks like three window-type things. Let's zoom into it right here and you'll see this a lot better and as I described this front of this piece right here in the middle of the screen you can see it it looks like it has a lid of some sort and it's rounded in the face of this and has like almost like this like foundations if you will now I put a round circle here but it's not really a round circle it looks like some kind of part or something laying there you'll see that too okay again pause this anywhere have a look at the lines that, that I'm showing you they are in fact there Bounce over this side. And again, this is just a couple lines here, guys. All right. Let's start getting into this because this is interesting. And we're not going to make this super long, guys. All right. So right off the bat, this is what we've got. You can now see there is depth to this. Now, the reason why this is orange is because this is manipulation. And when you start to burn it, this is the kind of crap you get out of it. So, what I do is I try to clear it up and bring out this a little bit better. You'll see this in a minute. We've got this piece here. You can see, look at the walls of this thing. It looks like ancient construction. And you can see this other object right here. Not even sure what to make of this right there. What is that? No idea what that is. It looks like some kind of statue or something or other. That's in this. See that? So, let's continue to bring this out, guys. Let's back up a little bit. And again, there's now depth. We can see this better than this. Where it looks like it's completely flat almost, but it's not. Like that there. You can see it a lot better. It does have some kind of depth to it. Let's keep going. All right, bring out some more of the lines. Okay, this object right here, as I said before, this may be partially dilapidated right there. And you can see this thing going up like this. This goes behind this and then back down. This, I believe, is the roof to it. And what they do is they blend it into this hillside. Okay, let's keep going. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the colors so we can have a better look. All right. What I did here is anything that was a lighter color. I just brought out the brightness to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth. You pay attention to these some of these lines that are here. We're just going to bring it out darker. That's all we're going to do. Okay. Now, let's keep going. Now, there's a little bit more here. See this? These, these lines are already there. You see little faint lines, they're now darker. That's all they are. So by bringing out these lines, we're able to bring out what's really in this photo, right? All right, here's the overall. 
Here's this other object here. As I said on the very right hand side, I'll put it right in the middle of the screen now. What is that? That to me is 100% a structure and this back piece to it is the roof. And you can see down here in almost the middle of the circle, it looks like framework, right? Now, whatever this thing is, this is clearly not natural. We've got these items right here. Check out the white pieces in the back. This dome piece here. And the many other structures laying right here on the ground. Now, weird thing about it is the more you go over here to the very left, you can see this right here. Is complete crap. Just like the sky. Now, you can see this a lot more. Look at the sky. What? What's going on here? Absolute crap. They did it. It's their way of blocking out what's really in the background, right? Again, the more you go to the left, it doesn't seem it has quite good detail, but the background to me is absolutely like a statue inside a cutout of a mountain. Right there, like I said, on the left-hand side. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen right now. That to me looks like some kind of structure or statue inside this hillside, whatever that is. The more you go over here, the more you see. Now, let's go black and white on this. We no longer have the colors to distort our vision. Look at these pieces, guys. These are just by bringing the lines out, we can see there is much more in this photo. Much more in this area. Back out. Let's keep going with it. Bring out more lines that were in there. Now look at some of the lines. You can see what I've done right in the middle of the screen right here. Look at the faint lines in there. Right there. And they're just, just bringing them up more. That's all we're doing. Now the back of this, what I said, looks like a rooftop to this here. I brought, basically brought it down and brought down the brightness. And then look at the other pieces that are here. Look at this. All in the front of this looks like some kind of, I'm going to put this in the middle of the screen. It looks like some kind of structure. I believe this is a rooftop back here, and they just blend it into the mountain to make it look like, oh, it's nothing there. Because when you look at it like this, it looks like this may be some kind of butte laying there, when clearly that doesn't even look like that. It looks like some sort of structure, and whatever's built into the side of this. Now, it may be built into the side of the mountain, right? But you can see this line right here. That is the side of this, whatever this thing is. I can see it right here. And you can see that it's faint, but it's there. There's our overall, guys. There you go. I'm just going to dock in the photo. And it brings up the brighter pots and brings down the darker pots. Or enhances the darker pots, if you will. There you go. This is probably one of the favorite photos I have enhanced. Now... It's either a bunch of structures or it's one large object with these pieces all over it. Uh, in my personal opinion, I believe this is a city. Some kind of uh, small village or whatever it may be. But whatever this thing is, clearly, it's not natural. And I find it interesting. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. It looks like you got this small arch right here. Right there underneath this flat piece. See that? It is actually there. You can see that. Yeah. It is absolutely there. There you go. Check it out. Now, some stuff on the bottom of the screen actually looks like it's mangled. Like there's just junk laying there as opposed to, you know, what looks like at the top of the screen. On the top of this mountain, if you will. This looks more intact then the bottom does over here in this white piece right here in the middle of the screen it looks like either the details are just not there because they manipulated it so much or it's just stuff just laying around and it's completely destroyed i don't know but very very interesting to say the least when i seen this i was just like wow and like i said i did a video on this a while back this stuff needs to be seen guys let's get this out this is what they're really on mars to see here you go from this here to this and the lines again where I showed you here 
Look at him carefully. I'm going to jockey back and forth. Pay attention to those areas. There you go. All right, guys, what are you seeing here? You know, I think it's pretty clear. What we're seeing here is not natural. We're seeing what look like structures. We're seeing what look like, you know, stuff that may be built into a side of a hill. Like on the left-hand side of that, look like some kind of weird statue or weird structure. I don't know what it is. It's pure speculation as to what these things may be. However, none of it to me looks natural. As usual, you guys drop your thoughts and comments below. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And definitely give the video a thumbs up. It then gets shared more and more. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell right on the right-hand side so you'll get notifications when the newest video comes out. And guys, got some more cool stuff. I might even do another second or third part to this thing because there's so much in here to see. It's just awesome. Anyway, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.